Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKurash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who taught us this truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there pushing this word in truth, sincerity, and indeed. Your brother Chapat from the great millstone Chicago branch. It's like it. Coming at you with another quick, Lord willing, edifying lesson. And uh, I'm just going to be laying back in off of uh, the brother, the elder, uh, Manatazak, out there in uh, South Carolina. Um, <laughs> he did a, a, a great video, all right, upon, you know, concerning this uh, <laughs> this individual right here. All right, she's, she's known as Suki Hana, all right, most notoriously known as Suki with the good coochie, <laughs> okay? And um, she's been making headlines recently with her uh, recent posts, all right? So she says, uh, I think I want to be a wife next year, tag a Hebrew Israelite, right? And um, I'm just be straightforward. Uh, I think this was just uh, clout chasing you know she most recently was uh she most recently went viral for shooting her shot at uh dr umar johnson you know what i mean y'all know uh dr umar you know through mar umi zumi all right he's got that uh marcus garvey shit going on you know that pan-african shit you know which is all just a farce for him to uh make money essentially make money take advantage of vulnerable women <laughs> so but nonetheless all right um a lot of simple ass jake you know they're they going crazy oh yeah yeah you know they commenting you know because even though just because a nigga knows he's an israelite we still the the spirit of simping is still heavy in the israelite community i'm gonna just keep it real all right the spirit of simping all right simpism it's still very prevalent in the Hebrew Israelite community. Okay. We had the great millstone, you know, we strongly rebuke that spirit. <laughs> All right. We do a uh, daily, daily rebukings of the simp doctrine here in great millstone, daily rebukings of the simp spirit here in the great millstone, man. But nonetheless, I can't say the same for these other camps, but, um, yeah, you know, and like I said, you know, my personal feelings, I think she's just chasing clout, but, However, she may also be sincere. You know what I mean? And um, I'm not even going to play none of her content. All you got to do is just YouTube Suki. And I'm telling you, Shorty is wild as hell. All right. Shorty is wild as hell. OK, she's off the chain. But nonetheless, nonetheless. OK, and it's the spirit that the elder, um, the elder, uh, um, Manatazak brung this out because we were doing a live show. All right. St. Benji is my witness. All right. <laughs> all right. St. Benji's my witness, man. All right. Um, after our Sunday live show about maybe like last week before she even started making these posts concerning Hebrew Israelites, uh, we were laughing and shit about her uh, most recent song, you know, the lyrics out one of her recent songs. And I said, you know what? I said, it's going to be hoes just like her that are actually going to repent. There's going to be females out there just like her that are just wild as hell, just really off the chain that are actually going to repent. I'm not saying she personally is going to repent. Like I said, I think it's all clout. She could be sincere. But there's females just like her that are going to repent, okay? And they're going to come back to the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, a few. It's going to be a few of them out there, man. You know? Hey, Yahweh Shai said it. Hold on. Before I jump into it, Yahweh Shai told us, man, because shit, hey, we were wretched. We were off the chain, right? When we were in the world. But the Lord have called us to repentance. All right. So guess what? There's going to be certain females that are out here wild as fuck in Babylon. All right. But they're going to repent and they are going to reform themselves into being daughters of Zion, man. All right. This is uh, the book of um, 
2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if any man be in Yahweh Shai, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Okay? So it says, if any man or hell, if any woman be in Yahweh Shai, if she's really sincerely in the spirit of repentance and trying to get her affairs in order, that she may be a delight in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and his men, she's also a new creature. She may have been off the fucking chain, but hey, you're going to have those, okay? There's examples of that, all right? I believe um, one of the uh, one of the elders, one of the elder bishops out in New York, I want to say it may have been Elder Big Gad, all right? He, he had been coined and saying, hey, man, you never know. Who's going to make it on them chariots, man? You will be surprised at who makes it on that chariot, man. Okay? Because what? Hey, the Lord is going to show his power. He's going to show his majesty and his mercy, man. All right? The scriptures say what? I'm going to also get this. This is the book of Matthew 21, 31. It says. It says, whether of them twain did the will of his father. It says, they say unto him the first. Matter of fact, no, I just got to go into this. I'm gonna just go into this. I'm gonna just go into it. All right. This is the book of Matthew 21 and 28. It says, but what think ye? A certain man had two sons and he came to the first and said, son, go to work today in my vineyard. He answered and said, I will not. But afterward, he repented and went and he came to the second and said, likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir, and went not. Whether of them twain did the will of his father, they say unto him, the first. Yahweh Shai said unto them, verily, I say unto you that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. All right. So when you look at that same scripture in the nlt it says which of the two all right matthew 21 31 in the nlt which of the two obeyed his father they replied the first then yahweh shai explained his meaning i tell you the truth corrupt tax collector corrupt tax collectors and prostitutes will get into the kingdom of god before you do all right so <laughs> corrupt tax collectors and prostitutes will repent and receive salvation okay into the kingdom of Yahweh before a lot of these hypocrites all right do before a lot of these uh, uh, uh hypocritic Christians before a lot of these uh, uh conscious black vegan motherfucker before a lot of them all right corrupt niggas and hoes will make it into the kingdom you know, because what? Hey, a lot of I'll be honest with you, man. I hey, here in Chicago, I've encountered street niggas like niggas really out here that have more integrity than a fucking Christian. All right. I've encountered strippers, hoes, straight thoughts that have more integrity than some of these church going as uh, 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 Christians, man. Than some of these uh, 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 fake ass conscious, unk wearing ass uh, 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 individuals, man, niggas, all right, females, you know, especially them unk wearing ass chicks, man, all right, being all the witchcraft, they swear they just on such a high vibration, man, and they be wicked as hell and they have no integrity, man, all right, and it is just true. It's just true. So watch, watch and behold the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Watch what he does, man. 
All right. Well, nonetheless, I'm gonna double back. Satan. Every time, every time I try to double back. I'm gonna double back back to Luke seven, okay? Okay, cause she also, this chick Suki, all right. She also says some more. She said, uh, she made another post. It said, no man will protect you like a Hebrew Israelite. She made this post on the 14th. All right. May 14th, 2023. Okay. So she, she's watching. Okay. She's been watching. Like I said, y'all ain't got to do nothing but YouTube, old girl. She wild as hell, man. All right. But nonetheless, it's wild ass females just like her, man. They, they, they're going to repent. <laughs> they're gonna repent hell she got a better chance of making it than some of these head wrapped whores that uh profess to be israelites i'm gonna say that again it's it's females like her like suki with the good coochie it's females like her they're going to be, receive salvation before a head wrapped hoe that's calling herself a hebrew israelite a head wrapped Ho, that is completely out of order that knows she's a hebrew israelite suki with the good coochie will get salvation before her man and that's straight up why because the intents of the heart okay why because people like suki all right when all hell breaks loose hey they're gonna hey they're gonna believe in yahweh bashim yahushai truly they're gonna truly come with repentance all right a few of them like her they're truly going to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and reverence his priests. Unlike these out of order head wrap hoes, man. Okay? These Hebrew Israelite feminists out there, man. Totally out of order. Trying to make videos and, and rebuke men and teach men. You know? The Lord is going to deal with them, man. All right? But let's get another example, okay, of a immoral woman receiving a, a, a mercy from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, this is the book of Luke, chapter seven, verse thirty-six. And one of the Pharisees desired him that he would eat with him. He's talking about Yahweh Shai, right? So he, one of the Pharisees, they bid Yahweh Shai uh, uh, to a feast with them, right? And he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet. Okay, so they eating, right? And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that Yahawashai sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment. OK, so when you read in the NLT version, it calls her it says a certain immoral woman from the city heard that Yahawashai was eating there. Right. So it called her an immoral woman. It didn't say, hey, she could have been into witchcraft, you know, or she could have been a hoe. All right, she could have been an adulterous woman or she could have been a hoe. <laughs> All right. Hey, like the um like the late great Philip Gilmore, man. All right. He made this uh he coined this term. He said, "Hey, man, this is a hey, uh, uh there's a lot of promiscuous pedestrians that be fucking on blacks and Mexicans." <laughs> okay? All right. So, hey, she she could have been a prostitute. She could have been a promiscuous pedestrian. Nonetheless, she was immoral. And when she heard that Shai was at this Pharisee's house, all right, what did this immoral woman do? She brought an alabaster box of ointment and stood at his feet behind him weeping and began to wash his feet with tears and did wipe them with the hairs of her head and kissed his feet and anointed them with the ointment. OK. You see what this woman did? She bowed down. She got on her knees and kissed the feet of our savior, man, of the king of kings. All right. That's what she did. She came humbly in a contrite spirit. OK. With the mindset of repentance and fear. You see? It says, verse 39, now when the Pharisee, which had, which had bidden him, saw it, he spake within himself, saying, this man, 
if he knew if he were a prophet would have known who and what manner of woman this is that's touching him for she is a sinner and Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him Simon I have somewhat to say to thee and he said master say on there was a certain creditor which had two debtors the one owed 500 pence and the other 50 and when they had nothing to pay he frankly forgave them both tell me therefore which of them will love him most Simon answered and said I suppose that he to whom he forgave most and he said unto him, Thou hast judged rightly. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, See you this woman? I entered into your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she washed my feet with tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman since the time I came in has not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil you did not anoint, but this woman has anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore, I say to thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. And he said to her, thy sins are forgiven. You see that? <laughs> you see that? And they that sat at meat with him began to say within themselves, who is this that forgiveth sins also? And he said unto the woman, thy faith have saved thee. Go in peace. See, that's powerful, man. That's powerful, man. So, yeah, what are we saying? Yeah, there's going to be there's going to be examples. OK, many. There's going to be many examples. OK, that are just like Suki with the good coochie <laughs> that are going to repent. And believe, you hear me? They're going to believe the words of the prophets that was sent by the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Yes, man, Isaiah. Fuck it. I might as well get it. Y'all know where this was going. Isaiah 4 and 1. Okay? And in that day, matter of fact, I'm going to read it in the NLT, Isaiah 4 and 1, NLT version. In that day, so few men will be left that seven women will fight for each man saying, let us all marry you. <laughs> let us all marry you. We will provide our own food and clothing. Only let us take your name so that we won't be mocked as old maids. You see that? So the, the reproach is going to be taken, man. The reproach is going to be taken away. From, from women like Suki, man. Okay? Yeah, a few of them are going to repent. A few of them are going to bow down. A few of them are going to come in a, a, a meek, contrite spirit unto the men of the Lord. All right? And they're going to repent. And they will be saved. Their faith. Okay? Their faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to save them from the coming destruction and perils that's coming, man. All right. So as I speak, <laughs> it, it's a it's a female right now. Busting it wide open on OnlyFans. <laughs> All right. As I speak, it's a hoe right now. Strolling the blade. All right. Trying to catch the next date. I tell you, when all hell begins to break loose. I'm telling you, they're going to hear the words of Yahweh Shem Shai by his prophets, and they are going to believe. And their faith is going to save them, man. Yes, it will. I'm going to end it with this. The book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 17. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and do what? And humble their souls in his sight, saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of man. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. <laughs> Call halal, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Hope this was edifying. Shalom.